Hi, this is Matt with LSAT Cracked. In this lesson, we're going to build on the previous examples of quantifiers, all, most, some, and none, with their respective logical opposites, and we're going to start applying it to other statements where the quantifier being used isn't quite so obvious. This skill is going to come in handy when you're dealing with more complex sentences that often appear in necessary assumption answer choices. Here's the key rule. The statement is either going to be positive or negative, and it's going to be strong or it's going to be weak. Your job is to simply negate using minimum necessary force, which means whichever dimension they are in terms of strong or weak, you do the opposite. Positive versus negative, you do the opposite. Let's take an example. Tomorrow, I will win the lottery. Well, let's think about that. That's a positive claim, something is going to happen, and it's a strong claim, 100% strong, I will win the lottery. The negation is therefore going to be negative and weak. Tomorrow, you might not win the lottery. That's how you would negate that claim. Now, suppose someone says, tomorrow, I might go to the beach. Okay, well, it's positive, something is going to happen, right? This is positively going to happen. But it's, but it's weak. It only might happen. So to negate, you go negative and strong. No, tomorrow you definitely will not go to the beach. Or said another way, there is no chance tomorrow that you go to the beach. Let's do a negative example. So we say, there is no chance that you will ever be a lifeguard. Okay, so the person is going negative, no, right? And very strong, 100% certainty. If you want to negate that, you say, I disagree. There is some chance you might be a lifeguard. That's positive and it's weak. Last example, I might not pass my calculus test tomorrow. Okay, well, it's negative, but it's weak. Basically, there's just some chance something bad is gonna happen. To counter that, we go positive and strong. No, tomorrow you will absolutely pass your calculus exam. Mastering the ability of identifying the positivity versus negativity and the strength of strong versus weak of any statement you come across is going to allow you to reliably negate that statement with minimum necessary force, and that's gonna improve your ability to successfully execute some of the more difficult necessary assumption questions on the LSAT.